Hi guys, and this video is going to be very interesting because we are going to use this Photoshop generative fills for making a poster. So, it's not as easy as you are thinking that we just have to type and we will get a poster out of it. So, there are so many things you need to do with yourself and that's what we are going to see in this video. So, let's start and if you feel this video is really helpful, make sure you are giving it a thumbs up and also subscribing this channel. So, that's it. We are good to go. So, here we are in Photoshop and we will click on this new button and you can give here a name now choose here pixels and you can choose your own size but i'll choose 1080 by 1080 then resolution 300 color mode rgb color you can see my all setting you can copy it and then click on create so we have a size here and then we will drag the image here and right click on the image layer and click on rasterize layer now click on this thumbnail by pressing Ctrl key. So we will get selection like this. Go to select and click on inverse. Now select any selection tool, right click and click on generative fill. Now describe the words as the background you wish to get in your picture. So I'll click on generate and it will take some time and then you will get the background. So these three all are good and I really like the first one. So I'll use it and then drag this layer below the bike image. So then you can see all the parts of the bike and because of this background image is really black and white. So we need to give some colors. First, you have to download this colorize options, then you can able to use it. And then you can change colors. And then we will get a new different layer. So I'll merge them, select both and press Ctrl E like this. Now I want to change the sky. So make a right selection of the sky and right click, click on generate if fill. Now you can type here anything, change sky, something like this. Let's see what we will get. So this is not good. Yeah, this is fine. And before moving ahead, I have to say something. You don't need to follow the sky part. You can skip this because at the end, I will delete this sky layer. This is your own choice. You can use the sky or you can skip this part. So now let's create a new layer and select the brush tool. Make sure you are using the normal brush and then just you need to one click and press Ctrl T and transform this like here. And then you can duplicate the shadow by pressing Ctrl G or Ctrl Alt and drag the mouse and then decrease opacity and all that. Now create a new layer again and make a clipping mask and then brush here by black color, something like this. Then select the background layer and click on this clone stem tool and take a part from here and click here. So I just want to give some texture of the tire. So like this i think this is too much so i'll press ctrl z more yes this is fine now it's time to work on color corrections so select the image of the bike then go to this icon and then click on brightness on contrast and do some changes here Then create a new layer again and brush here by white color. Make this as a light coming from the sky. Something like this. 
somehow I feel I need to delete this guy. So just try delete that and then select background layer and click on hue saturation. Now pick the sky color and change into something like this little bit greenish. Yes. That's it. Now drag the logo here. I'll write here the bike name. So this is officially, you probably know the Himalayan and it's not the necessary. You need to follow the same. You can type your own text and all that. Use your own fonts and typography. Now I will align it to center. Press Ctrl T to large it. Now drag this image below the bike layer and do some adjustment. Create a mask in the text image and select brush tool and brush here with black color. And then you can uh, type here any text or you can give any button, something like this. So I'll just put here the red box with the text book a test ride. And you can change the background color. You can use camera or filter to give little bit texture and clarity. And we can give a little bit vignette. And I will decrease the opacity and let's see. Yeah. So now this is looking very realistic and that's it. Our design is ready. So that's it. This is how we can use Photoshop generative skills. I hope you really liked the video. Don't forget to share with your graphic designer friends who don't know about this Photoshop generative skills and how to use in your work. So I'll meet you in the next video. And one more thing, guys, I created a one more video a few months ago about this AI, how to make poster using mid journey. So you can watch that video also. Hope you will like that. And I'll meet you in the next video. Thank you so much.